New at six, big decisions are ahead for Arizona Corporation Commissioners who are elected to determine how much utilities should be allowed to charge you for power and water. But the commissioners surprised many when they decided to make changes to rules involving citizen participation. Joe Dana explains why some are crying foul. Decorum and rules are vital to retaining order during public hearings. But citizens also need flexibility to be able to speak. The Arizona Corporation Commission took consumer and solar advocates off guard when it rushed through a change to public comment rules, even making a draft of the proposed changes secret, not accessible to the public until stakeholders demanded the information under public records laws. Even then, the commission redacted some information involving communication among commissioners about the proposed changes. Redactions that one Freedom of Information advocate we spoke to questioned was even justified. So we don't know all the conversations that happened behind the scenes about this. Then came Thursday's hearing. Asking for a little bit of structure is not out of line. Commissioners proposed changes to the draft. Some changes were considered positives by consumer groups. But the new rules were ultimately passed. One big change, people wanting three minutes to comment during a public hearing will be required to sign up online or in person before 10 a.m. on the day of a hearing. Previously, they could sign up before the particular agenda item that pertains to their cause was before the commission. Sounds like a small detail, but this creates the potential to turn people away wanting to speak. People who may not have the time or resources to wait all day until an agenda item is up. There are also new restrictions on follow-up opportunities for the public to speak during debate. I'm frustrated. Opponents of the changes say working families and the elderly will be hurt the most. The way that the public can come to the commission, provide public comment and speak on issues that matter to them in their everyday lives needs to be as simple and easy as possible. One less opportunity for the public to participate is one less opportunity for a variety of perspectives to be heard before commissioners vote. The public is welcome, invited, embraced in everything we do down here. But we've got to take care of our own housekeeping. That was Commissioner Jim O'Connor, who defended the new rules. The new rules include a phone number available to people to access to sign up for public comment if they don't have the Internet, for example. An attorney for the commission says she consulted with the state legislature and cities to come up with the reforms. What this also likely means is the onus will be on activists who fight on behalf of the environment and consumers to organize and get people ready to speak before the day of a hearing. Joe Dana, 12 News.